Why does former U.S. women's national team coach, Jill Ellis, believe that Australian Tony Gustafson should be a strong candidate for the U.S. WNT position in the face of the inevitable departure of Vlatko Andonovsky from his coaching role? That's what we're here to explain to you now. So, if you're a loyal U.S. WNT supporter, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay informed about the latest updates happening in our beloved team. Let's get started. With an incredible journey full of twists and turns, Gustafsson made his mark as Ellis's right hand in leading the US WNT during the epic battles for the World Cup trophies in 2015 and 2019. And now, as the main maestro, he has steered Australia into a historic moment, their first World Cup semi-final. Despite the Matildas facing elimination with a 3-1 score against England, Gustafsson's impact is resonating throughout the world of soccer. And who better to recognize this greatness than Ellis? She enthusiastically shared with ESPN that Gustafsson's success hadn't surprised her, as she always believed that Australia had what it takes to make a deep run. I saw them play against France in the friendly and I remember saying, this is a well-oiled machine. They are going to make a deep run in this tournament, said Ellis. You could see, the way they moved together and worked together. It reminded me a lot of our 2019 team. We were a very well-tuned machine, ready for any situation. Gustafsson credited his time with the US WNT as being helpful as he navigated this year's World Cup. Are you enjoying the news? Leave a like to support the channel. That way, you motivate me to keep bringing you the latest usant news. These experiences have been extremely valuable in learning tournament football, it's very different from week after week in a league, said Gustafsson. I've been a club coach as well, but playing tournaments is completely different. It's about finding a way to win in the game right in front of you. If I look back from 2019 to where I am now, my mantra is that I want to improve every day, not just a day older. I sit here one day older, but hopefully one day better too. Gustafsson was a significant part of the US WNT's rebuilding process after the disappointment of the 2016 Olympics. And Ellis told ESPN that she saw similarities in Australia, with Gustafsson following a similar playbook to guide the Matildas. That's why Ellis thinks that US soccer should consider Gustafsson for the position. He should definitely be a strong candidate for the role, she said. And now, fans. I want to hear from you. What's your opinion on Gustafsson leading the Ascent? Share your thoughts in the comments, as your opinion matters a lot. I'll be back with another news update at any moment.